the, the West is not simply dedicated to prevent that, preventing that from happening. The West is committed to defeating Russia in Ukraine, beating the Russians on the battlefield in Ukraine, weakening the Russian economy badly, and in effect, knocking the Russians out of the ranks of the great powers. Mm -hmm. But you think Russia will prevail and the West will probably have to give in? Or... Yeah, I mean, first of all, this is a war of attrition where Ukrainians are fighting Russians. The West is not involved with ground troops in the war. Mm -hmm. The West is supplying the Ukrainians, but it's not doing the fighting. Mm -hmm. So in a war of attrition, the key question is how many people are in Russia? How many people are in Ukraine? What's the relative population size of those two countries? And then also, what does the balance of artillery look like? Because artillery really matters in a war of attrition. It's, as we used to say in the US Army, artillery is the king of battle. Now, if you look at the numbers here, Russia has, at this point in time, somewhere between a four to one and a five to one advantage in population. This is a massive advantage. In terms of artillery, the Russians have, it's hard to get a firm number, somewhere between a five to one and a 10 to one advantage in artillery. And the West does not have the ability to give Ukraine enough artillery or artillery ammunition, shells as we say, to equal the Russian capability. So the Russians greatly outnumber the Ukrainians in terms of population size, and they greatly outnumber the Ukrainians in terms of how much artillery each side has. And in a war of attrition where the two armies are standing toe to toe and beating the living daylights out of each other, the side that has a larger population and has more artillery is likely to win. So there's this video about the ongoing conflict in Ukraine that I want us to watch and deliberate on. I want us to share our thoughts and opinion about the video. So let's watch. Now this terrible war going on in Ukraine and we're not being told the truth and it's very difficult to, to figure out the truth. Uh, uh, um, RFK uh, Jr. just came out, there's probably 300,000 Ukrainian casualties, uh, I mean much higher than we've been told and the war seems to drag on forever. What's your scenario for an outcome or a solution for that war? How is it going to continue? Well, I think it's going to be a long war, uh, and I think that the Russians will ultimately prevail. And I think uh, they're not going to conquer Ukraine. It's not like they're going to uh, run their army up to the Polish and Romanian border, topple the regime, and incorporate Ukraine into a greater Russia, the way many people in the West describe their ambitions. But what they're going to do is they're going to conquer a huge chunk of Ukrainian territory, and they're going to turn Ukraine into a dysfunctional rump state. But and the whole West does not want that, and we, we said we, we're going to prevent that. Absolutely. No. The West is going to prevent that uh, conquering of territory. Yeah, I would say more than that, the West is not, the, the West is not simply dedicated to prevent that, preventing that from happening. The West is committed to defeating Russia in Ukraine, beating the Russians on the battlefield in Ukraine, weakening the Russian economy badly, and in effect, knocking the Russians out of the ranks of the great powers. Mm -hmm. But you think Russia will prevail and the West will probably have to give in? Or... Yeah, I mean, first of all, this is a war of attrition. People are not being told the whole story as to why there is a conflict in Ukraine. No one really knows for sure what really went wrong and how this whole thing came to be. No one is really sure. If there is one thing that the West knows how to do or they have been doing for like very like for many years now is to tell a lot of lies. 
they gave us a first reason why they went into Iraq. They gave us another lie why they wanted to take out Muammar Gaddafi of Libya. They told us so many lies as to why they were invading other countries. So we do not expect them to start, to start telling us the truth right now. But if there's one thing I have always talked about on, the, on this show, about this whole conflict in Ukraine, is that uh, I really feel sad for the Ukrainians who are fighting. I really feel sad for those Ukrainians whose cities and houses have been destroyed. I really feel sad for those Ukrainians who have lost loved ones. So I have always hoped that the Ukrainians will realize this and they will find out or they will go for some kind of peace treaty with the Russians. I have always hoped that the Ukrainians would not drag this thing for long because this kind of conflict tend to be dragged for many years. And when they are being dragged on, a lot of things might go wrong. And the one last thing is that uh, this whole thing is on Ukraine. And Ukraine is being attacked every now and then. And many things are being destroyed. While Russia carries on with its activities like usual. Russia says they are oil. Russia continues with its manufacturing. Russia carries on with business as usual, while Ukraine is in a very delicate situation. I really feel for the Ukrainians. Conflict is never a good thing, and if people realize this, they should avoid getting into it in the first place. Because in a conflict, most of the times, if not all of the times, everyone will lose. Everyone will lose. And there are outsiders who are setting up all this confusion. The military industrial complex is making like a fortune out of this. So they would love to see this conflict in Ukraine drag on as for long as possible. They would not care. They would just want to see it drag on and just keep going. But Ukrainians have to realize this. Ukrainians have to decide not to be played by the West. Ukrainians have to decide to remove themselves in between superpowers like Russia and America. This responsibility falls on the Ukrainians. But you guys out there, what is your take on this whole conflict in Ukraine? Do you think that the West or the Western media is giving us the whole truth about what is going on in Ukraine? Can we really trust their reporting on Ukraine? And also, what is the West getting from Ukraine or what, are, what will they get from Ukraine? Are they in Ukraine because they want to support Ukraine and Zelensky or they want to stick it out to Russia? Let us know in the comment section below because like always, we love hearing what you have to say. And also, please don't forget to like this video, share this video, follow our Facebook page and most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel because little bit of good will like the way you're doing just now help us a lot. I shall forever be grateful to you. So thank you very much for doing just that. And like always, see you in the next one.